Good morning, everybody. This is Kathy. Let's see. Can you see all of it? Okay, so these are my layouts that I did for just using my How to Kill a Kit with Style. I'm not for sure how many there is. Um, I also have in a separate pile my... Um, Oh, my close to my heart layouts. My um, she's crafty from the six by six paper pad, and what else? Like any other collection that I used. So I will do a separate video for those. So my my video won't be so long. This one I um I let's see did I use scraps or did I layer them okay like I used a strip there and there and then I also brought in this purple I also brought in some washi tape I put here that was out of um, Chamel's or no let's see was this out of the sticker book I think I pulled in some new stuff for this layout this was in my stash and this this is when Briley came and she was using my shimmer pens. I did some layering behind the photo, put a princess castle there. Um, I had purchased some of um, Paige Evans' scenic route. Now, I couldn't find any of the ephemera that went with the scenic route. Have any of you found it? I looked on scrapbook.com and um, Cherry on Top. And I don't know, I couldn't find any of her ephemera to go with this collection. But I did find the paper pad and the uh, puffy and the thickers that went with it. Anyway, I mixed that stuff in with my kit this month just to kind of keep me going and keeping me interested so there's that one this one i did for mixed media frenzy i did um, a little mixed media to match lily's dress and i pulled out one of these titles and um my friend Linda sent me a whole bunch of these, and I love them. So I'm slowly getting them put into my layouts. This is a pocket from Hip Kit. And then I use Jen Hatfield's um, word phrases. This is a little cluster. I had circles punched out, so I went ahead and clustered it over here. So I really love this cluster and the, the light stamping. All right, this one is using my how to kill. All these are, but sometimes I just kind of stuck in stuff. But all this is my kit. This was my favorite paper that was in my kit. So you will see that paper throughout these layouts because I cut it apart and I wanted just a little bit of everything on my layout. Um, this little sticker says, um, shoulders back, chin up. <laughs> That's kind of what Lily's doing. She is currently, well, she's in dance and they haven't been having dance because of COVID, but she comes here and she dances and I just love watching her dance. Um, I tucked in some of these and used my punches. I brought in some wood veneer and I'm starting to bring in a lot of buttons. So be watching for that. I just tied a bow and glued it on top. That's how I do it. I do it the lazy way. So there's that one. Here's one I really like. Um, this is a Snapchat filter of Amanda and Briley. I put happy together and a little cluster here 
Now this is my shimmer pen when Briley had it. It came completely apart and so I dumped it onto a white cardstock and that's the background. Best friends together and I wrote a little quote in here. If you don't know what to write for journaling, find some quotes that fit your photo and and put in here. It says, daughters are little girls that grow up to be your best friends. And that is so true. That is so true. Okay, so this one I love. I used my new um, thickers. Used a lot of the dolly um, little toys on this Imaginous Girl collection a couple clouds where she's sleeping. These are just snapshots of Lily. Put a little kitty on here. And then I just use some strips. And I love show, showcasing the pretty pattern paper. Alright, this one was done for Punched Out Thursday. I love this one. The colors really made the photos pop. This was when Braxton was playing in the sprinkler. So that's my title. And I Frankenstein the M together. I used two M or two U's and just kind of cut it and tucked it together. And I love the colors of this. I also used up some scraps on there and used a little puppy dog. This one's one of my favorites. Um, as you know, I love rainbows. And when me and Becky got together, she had this paper pad. And I pulled out a couple sheets and I had some scraps left. So I thought it went really well with this photo. I don't know if I get close enough, but look at Briley's face. I'm sorry if it's blurry. That, it just cracks me up. There's Braxton and Briley, and then we were in New York at my cousin's house, and Briley and Michael, Michael's her cousin. Anyway, the thickers were right on. They matched with this, and I just love it. And then um, Go the Scenic Route has all these little phrases, so I layered them up. They are in a Jeep. Since I don't travel, I thought I would use this travel theme with their outdoor pictures. So it went really well. Here's another bright and cheerful layout. And this was some of the paper that Becky had. And I pop dotted these arrows and put some color up here. And I cut on the zigzag. This little word here is from Close to My Heart. So I, I really love this. And her bathing, her photo just really pops with this bright collection. All right, this one was done for Punched Out Thursday. They were at the beach. Now, I don't know if that was... Yes, this was... Um, they have a little beach in Kansas where they went to... So, I used a couple of tags that Becky sent me. And then there's that paper again. And then I also backed these punched out circles. It's a cute layout. Okay, now, all of you, if you've watched the video, this is the page that Briley did when she come to visit. She also wrote... Best friends always love Briley. I should give, the, I think I will put this in Lily's album because Briley made it for Lily. They're like best friend cousins. So I did a little embellishment here, and that, or she did, 
um, she put the cards here. This is how she started the layout. She started putting it up here, and I kind of suggested some things. So there's that one. Okay, this one, I used a lot of bright colors again to bring out her floaties. And I folded this piece just to kind of give it a different look. I layered some of the chipboard and the stickers. And my title is Pretty Girl. And I, of course, I had to put a mermaid and a rainbow. So I really love this. And I did some faux stitching with my black ink pen. <sighs> Let me get a drink. <laughs> Here's another one that I used up that paper. Really pretty. It went with her shirt and her shorts. I put Drain Big because she caught that fish. Braxton and Briley have been... Oh, what, what, there. Now that, I wonder if this was supposed to go there. Huh. I am going to have to find something that goes there. And I don't think, uh, yep, this went. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. I think this fell off and I wasn't able to find where it went. And it's going to pull up the tape. Well, I will just find something else. The green, I love the green. It goes with the grass. And this is the one that um, we splattered with the shimmer pens. So it has lots of sparkles. Here's that strip again. I thought it went really well with Braxton and Briley's shirts. And gosh, Briley's pigtail. She used to have thick, well, she still has thick hair, but she had curly hair. Um, I had Chamel's um, ephemera and some of Vicki Booten's ephemera in here. So I just kind of clustered and layered. This piece here is a like an acetate piece that I tuck be uh, behind everything. And that's how I layered. So I really love how this one turned out. Here's one. Now in one of my, I think this one has a process video. I um, cut off the tags and I put them all on the bottom for a grid, something different instead of squares. Did a little cluster here and a little cluster up here. So this one's cute. Has a beach bag and suntan lotion and a camera. This one was for Punched Out Thursday to die for. I created these flowers. I did the mixed media and then I punched them out and then I did some lines um, in my, on my flowers. So I love this one too. There's some tags and there's that new font. Okay, this one was for uh, Stretch the Sketch. Here, I'll just pull, and these you can get at Close to My Heart. They do have adhesive on them. They have all sizes. This one was fun. Um, was it Stretch a Sketch or? No. This one was for, um, she's crafty. I'm pretty sure. But I, yeah, she's crafty. So I forgot that one was in there. Okay, this one was for Punched Out Thursday. I had did some mixed media on my um, White Daisy cardstock. And it's kind of glossy, shiny, and then some tags, and I created these flowers. Really pretty. I love how it matches her um, pants and stuff. Okay, this one I did with my, using my scraps. And I had a whole bunch of little pieces, and I just went ahead and put them across. 
I used a couple ephemera pieces and tucked them under the photo. Tucked this frame and another tag, and I did pull in some ribbon out of my stash. I ripped these two. This cardstock is an older KI Memories cardstock that went with their paper. It's my favorite cardstock ever. Used a 3x4 card, plus tucked in some elements here. And tied another bow. Sorry, my phone is like blowing up. This one was fun to do. I pulled in those thickers again and uh, Paige Evans go the scenic route along with the paper that I had in my How to Kill a Kit with style. Briley went golfing and was riding in the golf cart, so I thought road trip, let's go on a road trip, would be ideal for this one. So that one was cute, and I brought in a bunch of, of my scrap strips. Okay, here's that paper again. Um, this one is of my daughter Amanda and her husband-to-be, Braxton, Madison, Briley, and Abigail. These two girls are Bradens, and they live with their mom, and they, you know, they get them all the time. Um, I did a little cluster down here, and then I tied a bow again. I've really been into tying um, ribbon bows with the ribbons. So, okay, this one is when Bridley was lived here in town, and she was playing with the swing set. And I really love how this one turned out. I used some of the big leaf ephemera. Glamour is a state of mind because she's got boots on, sweats on, winter coat. So I thought that was cute. I tucked a femur piece down here, a frame here, and a tag there. Okay, this one is used in the scraps, and I used a bunch of those stickers. She is having tea with her Build-A-Bear, which I think is just the sweetest. I love it. And I just put some girly you know, toys. My best friends are imaginary. That card was perfect because look at her bear. Time for tea. Okay, this one is a Briley play in Legos. And again, you'll be seeing me use these stickers. I put them on this pink to make them pop. And it just goes with all this. I tied another bow and used bits and pieces of this collection I had left. Okay, this one is using these papers that came in my hip kit and this envelope here. This is me when I was younger before my back surgery. And my daughter Amanda. And it's amazing how much she looks like me and how much Briley looks like her. This, I just hung some floral down here and used some um, wood veneer from close to my heart. Oh, this isn't even glued. Let's glue that piece on there cover up them snowflakes on that piece. All right, and my last one is this one, and I'm using up the same paper. I'm going to journal. Briley come to visit, and Nikki got a picture of her and the girls. I cut the flowers up and down and tucked this tag. I didn't put a bow on there because of it being a line. So, yeah, let's count them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen.
looks like 24 layouts just by using my kit and bringing in some newer products. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again with the rest of my layouts that I did for the month. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.